Welcome to Beat the Expert, episode six with David Elstob. I've just climbed into an old table. I'll climb out of it in a second. It'll all make perfect sense in a moment. Antiques, valuations, how good are you? Let me know. Could you stand and get inside it? Get inside it? Could do. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's going to get you in shot, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Well, that's good. Yeah. This is an unusual beginning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> here am I inside a table. David here, David Elstop from Elstop and Elstop is desperate to talk about this table. So we're going to show you three items starting with this thing. My first question to you is this. Do you have anything that looks remotely like this table stashed in a garage, a workshop or a storeroom? Because if you do, you might be in luck. David, where did you find this? In a barn. In a barn? In a barn. Looking ropey. Yes. And what did it, you think when you first saw it? Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's just, it's pure country house condition. It's what you want to find something. You, know, you want to find something in this state. It's nice yeah. and dry and crispy. And, yeah, it's very dry you know, and dusty. The rails are all lovely and dry. Um, everything's hand carved. Obviously missing what's top, unfortunately. But the thing is, we, we get excited over this. You're probably not getting excited over this, but David is going to explain to you now why you should be getting excited over things like this. Tell us what it is. Um, it's an Irish mahogany console table, probably dating to the middle of the 18th century, probably around 1750. Get that. So quite early, really, to find mahogany, because we didn't start using mahogany until about 1730. Um, it has some unusual features to it, including on the backs, you've got these lovely big ball and claw feet, but on the backs of the feet are these lovely kind of fetlocks, fetlock carving, which is a, a, a feature you see on Irish console tables. But it's a totally unnecessary thing, because it's unlikely for anybody to actually see that little bit of detailing, so it shows its quality. It's a carver saying, this is my work, and, exactly. look, and look how good it is. And you are so right, get this, so you think about mahogany, David's right, 20 years into the, into the introduction of mahogany to yeah. Britain, this would have been extraordinarily expensive when new. So made for a yeah. serious house. Absolutely. What top would it have had on? A marble one, I suspect. Yeah. A yeah. lovely marble top. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be a problem finding one. You know, you, a top isn't a, isn't a huge problem. Um, the likelihood is uh, if you found one with a marble top, it may have been replaced anyway. Like so. Like how rare is this thing? Fairly rare. Yeah. yeah fairly rare. Um, it was just a nice find in a barn. Well, but, but this is the thing. These things are languishing in barns. Yeah. So when you see an old piece of furniture like this, you know, check it out before you throw it yeah. out is, is the key. And I mean, really, the, the feet are fabulous on it. Um, the beautifully carved bone cloth feet, that fetlock, it's gorgeous. And it's just all, it's lovely, the frame, even though it's been in the barn, it's lovely and dry and crispy. Yeah. Everything's hand carved. Um, Can I just say, it sounds like someone's making one of these in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a great big industrial unit here in Ripon, and there's a factory next door. But you know, you've got to live with the noise Absolutely. problems. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. Gorgeous serious thing. thing. Good find. A lot of people would overlook it. I can even see the hand forged yeah. nails here, which is fantastic. So put in before the mass production in the 19th yeah. century of nails. So all of these little things you pick up on everything about it screams deliciousness it's going to be a whacking estimate this i'm feeling yeah we've put 1500 to 2000 on it all right okay i think that'll be amazing yeah. uh spend 500 quid on a marble top and if polish you've got it, the right it. house you, you're you're yeah. away i mean a bit of polish will do wonders yeah. with this just a bit of put a bit of life back in the timber yeah. be fab bit of beeswax polish by the way top tip don't be using any of those aerosols no. Oh, oh, David oh, no. fills us with horror. Okay, fifteen hundred to two thousand yeah. pounds. People could overlook it very easily. How much do you think it's going to make in auction? David's going to sell it. He's excited. I'm excited. Let us know how excited you are. Okay, good luck. Let us know how close you get to the final hammer price. Good luck, David. Thank you very much. Can I get out of here now? Five five three to George, second Irish mahogany console table. In real barn, fresh condition, this, but a good thing. Um, I'll start with the interest with me. I've got a, 
got 900 bid on Invaluable, 900 bid. I've got 950 on Easy Live, 1100 on Easy Live, 1200 on Easy Live. On Easy Live, 1200 pounds. 1300 on Invaluable. 1400 on Easy Live. 1500 on Invaluable. 1600 on Easy Live. 1700 on Invaluable. 1700, 1800 on Easy Live. 1800 bid, 1900. 1900 bid, 2000. 22, 2002 bid. 2004, 2006, 2006, 2008 on the sale run, 3,000, 3,000 bid, it's on volume at 3,000, 3,000 bid, anybody else want to come in at 3,000 bid, 3,000 bid, 3,2 on the sale room, 3,4 on invaluable, 3,004 on invaluable, 3,004 bid, it's on invaluable at 3,400. At 3,004 bid. 3,006 if you want another one. Try one more if you want. At 3,004 bids on invaluable. At 3,400. All done. At 3,004. All done. 3,400 to 9638. Bit of a surprise that one. Absolutely. What a lovely surprise. Well done, David. And just goes to prove everybody that good antique furniture is now increasing in value. So keep your eyes peeled for ropey looking objects just like that. And now for something completely different. Go on, men. Excite us. What have we got? Well, should we start with the Lalique? Oh, a bit of Lalique. Tell us about Rene. it. Yeah. Um, oh, it is Rene. It's Rene. Okay, it let's. Tell the viewers here how we can tell the difference between a René Lalique and a Lalique, because there is yeah. a big difference. Um, anything signed just Lalique um, is posthumous. Yeah, so post-1945. Yeah, which is when, 44. I think it's when he died, yeah. end of the Second World yeah. War, René Lalique died. Anything created during his lifetime has our Lalique. That's it. Signature. Big difference, by the way. So if René Lalique was breathing, it was signed R Lalique. Correct. Once he stopped doing that, it's just signed Lalique. And it, there's a big difference Makes in Makes a big difference to collectors. So that's an R Lalique. That's an R Lalique. Okay. Um, this, is, this design is called Marguerite's. Um, it was designed in 1923 by Lalique. Yeah. Lovely piece of glass with the blue staining. Good colour. It's Good a great colour. And it's nice that it's retained that because they often lose the staining. Oh, right. We yeah. sell a tremendous amount of Lalique. Um, and you do see this quite a bit of wear in the stain, but this has retained it now, really well. How does the staining lose its colour? Is it through just light? It fades. And you know as well as I do, people yeah. love to clean things. Yeah, they do, don't and they? Over yeah. Overcleaning. Over don't overclean clean. anything. Just leave it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, that's just good, vivid blue staining to it. Would a top tip to keep it out of bright sunlight? No, it'll be fine in sunlight. Will it? Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. Just don't clean, please. Don't clean them. Just mm. leave them be. Yeah. Um, but nice, um, nice stencil signature Arla League France to the foot rim. Any chips? It's in good, it's in good order. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice, really nice vase. Just a good, saleable thing. Beautiful design. If you like La Ligue or not, you'd still just have that as a lovely vase. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't not knock it. admire can't knock it. it. And consider that is 100 years old or thereabouts. Yeah. I mean, it's still very modern looking, isn't it? It is, yeah. Lovely shape as well. OK, you've all heard of Lalique. It's a big name in the world of glass. So what's the estimate? Four to six hundred. Four to six hundred. OK, sounds sensible enough to me. Yeah. Yeah, you, you've sold a lot of these things before. What do you think it's going to make? I, I hope it'll make the top end of that. OK, yeah. and what do you think? Let us know how close you get to David's hammer price, because he's going up there right now. Good luck. Thank you. 36. The link it's a Marguerite's vase with a beautiful blue staining to it. The stain is very vivid. It's in wonderful condition. We've got a lot of interest in this vase. I'm going to start you on invaluable at 550. 550 on invaluable, 600 from Denmark, 600 bid, 600, 650 on easy life, 700, 700 bid on the sale room, 700, I see 750, 750 on easy life, 750, 800 from Denmark on the sale room, 800 bid, 800 bid, try one more if you like, don't let them have it, it's a wonderful thing. 
room. You only get one chance. 850 in the room. 900. 950, sir. Come on, don't leave me for a bit. 900 pounds here. Little money, a fabulous elite bars. At 900 pounds there. We all done. Don't leave it. 950, I thought you would. 950 bid. In the room at 950. At 950 then, are we all done and finished? Fair warning then, it's in the room at 950 pounds. All done at 950. And well sold indeed. £950. Did you get anywhere close to that hammer price? Let me know. Well, this is the, the final lot. Yeah. Um, I think it's a, it's a very fabulous looking thing, really, to, to end on. No, um, it's a grand oh, thing. It's, grand. Isn't it? it's, it's a big lump. It's a statement. It is a statement. a statement. This is stating I've arrived and I've got plenty of money. Yeah, it's a, it's a great thing. Okay, by um, whom? La Cultura. Sure, good name. The famous Swiss uh, look, luxury brand. Yeah. Known for watchmaking, of course, founded in the 1830s. Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is a later, quite a late piece, really. Probably dates to the 80s or 90s. So not very old. But 1980s, 19. 90s stuff is becoming actually really well, quite sought after, absolutely. isn't it? You've got a bit of like a Hollywood glamour kind of look yeah. to this thing, but it's not just the look, you do have that name. You have the name yeah. and the design, the, the way the whole movement is open and things. Is, it's a great looking thing. It's, it's what's called an Atmos clock. At, why is it called an Atmos clock? I knew you were going to ask that. Good. And I don't know why. No, neither do I. <laughs> neither do I. I don't know I, why. I'm assuming it's something to, relating to the, to the intricacies of the movement, yes. the mechanism. But good quality. And it's, I mean, it's very sharp and very precise. And it hasn't been over-cleaned. No. You talk about cleaning all of the time, which is very important. It hasn't been rubbed away, no, has it? It's in good order. And it's got this nice kind of green enamelling, yeah. which is a nice. You don't often see this on these Atmos clocks which is nice, a green marble base again, which is slightly unusual for yeah. these. Um, you've got a little moon as well on the, on the dial, again, yeah. slightly unusual for these. And this would have been a lot of money, 30, 40 serious years amount of serious, serious money. This was actually given as a presentation plaque on the front, so it was given as a gift. All right, what, 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 what's anything interesting? Um, no, not, not particularly. No, okay. Somebody <laughs> who's a director of a company or the like. Okay, <laughs> can you take that off, do you think? Would you yeah, take that off? Yeah, I think off? it would okay. come off. It's not in set, so I think it okay. would come off fairly easily. So if, if this had been given to somebody famous, you know, I mean, it, it post-dates yes. Winston Churchill, I always use Churchill, if in 1961 something was given to Churchill, it's got a plaque on it, yeah. that adds like huge amounts of money. But if it's someone that we don't really know, yes. with all the greatest respect to them. If it was me or you, then. Me or you, they yeah. don't, nobody cares about <laughs> you and me, David. You're right nobody there. cares, right? So you just remove the plaque. Yeah. Yeah. So and you can put that. your own plaque on and give it as a gift yeah, again. Absolutely. Okay. But a serious bit of kit as a gift, new price for these things. I'm sure you can buy them relatively new, I think. I think you still can buy them, yeah. Thousands, I guess. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands. Horrible amounts of thousands. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely thing. A lot of interest in this. Right. Okay. We've we've put an estimate of twelve to eighteen hundred pounds on it. Okay, which is a fraction of its new yeah. price. So this is a bargain for somebody if they really want yeah. that that maker. What's your prediction? I think it will make top end of that estimate range. Okay, couple of grand and a bit. Yeah, maybe eighteen that area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think it'd be good value at that. Yeah. I do. What a lump. What a statement piece. Right. Here we go. David's about to sell it. Let us know how close you get to the final hammer price. Good luck. Thank you. 502, Yeager and Culture Atmos Clock. My good house, this has been a lot of interest in this pre-sale. I've got 3,000 bid on Invaluable. 3,000 bid, a big 3,000 for the Yeager and Culture Atmos Clock. 3,000 and bid. It's on the Invaluable at 3,000 pounds. I see 3,002 anywhere. At 3,000 pounds. At 3,000 bid then, we all gonna finish. On it, invaluable at three thousand pounds, and we all done three thousand. All done three thousand pounds. Two, eight, nine, one, four. Hope you're closer than us with that one. Yes, what a result! I didn't get anywhere near that myself. What about you? How did you do? Welcome back, everyone. I hope you did really well there. Don't forget, if you have any questions or anything, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. And um, we hope to see you again next time. Yeah, get in touch with him. Use his expertise. He doesn't mind sharing it with you. <laughs> All right, great to see you. Thanks for watching. I'm David Harper. Till next time, cheerio. I'm David Elstob. Bye for now. Bye-bye.